Hey, so many teachers and students are uploading their video projects to YouTube. Um, and before they can do so, they need to establish a YouTube channel. So I'm going to go ahead and log in as a student here. And immediately, uh, YouTube brings me to the desktop version. That's really, really important. If you go into YouTube a different way and you're in the mobile version, make sure you go into desktop in order to create the channel. So what we ask the students to do for their usernames here is to use their long student number rather than a name. And they get kind of a kick out of choosing the gender. And then we just click on OK, I'm ready. And immediately after creating the channel, the students are able to upload video. From this page, they can upload video from their um, camera roll. So if they've created something in, say, iMovie, they can export that movie to camera roll. Or, straight from iMovie, they can use the upload button, just select this one, this upload button here to shoot it out to YouTube. As long as they've already created a channel, they should have no problems. The one thing, since we're on this page, is that um, when, I'm work when we're working with teachers, we definitely want to talk about which privacy setting for the student. Most teachers are going with the public setting, but some teachers are a little, little leery of that, and so they're asking their students to publish with an unlisted um, privacy. Now back to YouTube. Um, one of the things that we're asking students to do is to really consider that everything that they do in school is for learning. What they do outside of school is up to them and their parents. And so to really kind of reinforce that, we ask them to write a description for their YouTube channels. So by selecting the little icon next to the um, username, we'll ask them to select on my channel. And then what we ask them to do is to give the, the channel a description. So they select the About button. And in the channel description here, they can inform their viewers that this is their part of their digital portfolio, um, and maybe even for school. And as the kids continue to add to their channel, um, we instruct on subscribing to other classmates' channels and other things that they're interested in. But for right now, for the lesson for the day, is just to make sure that students have established their channel or created their channel before attempting to upload uh, any videos. Have a great one.